What's up? It's the Fragrance Apprentice. Welcome back to Is It Still Good in 2019. As you can see, we're not on the step today. This is hopefully a temporary thing. The only issue is, is that it has been absolutely pissing it down for the past two weeks. I haven't really had a healthy amount of vitamin D for a good 15 to 16 days. So there we go. Um, so today we have a huge one, really, probably one of the biggest that you'll want to know about, and that is Yves Saint Laurent's Le Nuit de L'Homme. This came out 10 years ago, 2009, so as I said with this series, 10, it has to usually be 10 years minimum to qualify to be in this series. So this just about qualifies. Where is the text? There we are. So I'd say that out of all of the fragrances I've done thus far, this has honestly been the most challenging, and you will see why as we go along. So in the, within this series, I uh, judge fragrances on whether they're still good uh, now with three basic components. The first one is reformulation, second one is relevance, and the third one is retail price. And all three, almost, has been a little bit difficult. There have been certain things that have been said about this fragrance that I personally actually haven't found to be true, but we will get to that. In fact, we'll get to it right now. Number one, reformulation. The way that people talk about reformulation on this fragrance is as though it just has literally nothing about it, um, as though it's pretty much just water, um, and that it just has no substance, it has nothing. And so when I bought this about a month and a week ago, I was expecting something very bad, something not good, and you know, I, I was bracing myself for that. Funnily enough, I used to own a few samples of this a very long time ago, um, around about 2013, 2014, and I smelled this right now, and I was quite shocked, and I was... I found it a bit unusual because the smell that I remembered from back then was pretty much the same smell as I got now, and projection longevity wise, I've not had too much of a problem. I was so perplexed and so confused about it, I decided to even Google the, thumb, uh, the um, serial code and I have got a couple people, a couple friends still left in the industry, so I actually went to an Yves Saint Laurent um, department in Harvey Nichols and I said, could we look at the serial code to see if this is recent or not? And it is, in fact, it, this, uh, I believe, came out, this, this batch of it came out early this year, so this is the most recent reformulation of it, and I have honestly not had too much of a problem, if not any problem. Now, I know that there are people out there like who, who have genuinely said that they have problems with this um, as a reformulation. It seems to be that there will have been two major reformulations, and I was speaking to a fellow reviewer who, I'm, I'm not going to say who it is because they might just not want, they might want to remain anonymous, but they basically said that the first reformulation was like death. And he's also found that the second reformulation actually improved the performance uh, on his skin. So it's a little bit odd. So on, but the bottom line for me, reformulation, I've not had a problem or anything like that. In fact, this smells pretty bloody good and quite as how I remember it. However, I'm going to say this. There are a lot of reviewers who have said that this has got real problems, so I just don't know quite what to make of it, and um, I don't know if this is old juice that has now been put into a new bottle, I don't know, but as far as I'm concerned, I've had a really good experience from the scent and from the performance, so it's great on me. But with that being said, as always, test on your own skin, and if somebody could explain to me what quite is going on with this down in the comments, if they've suddenly vastly improved everything in the latest reformulation, I would love to know because I this is not quite, this is not at all, in fact, what I was expecting to get from a recent bottle. Relevance has been quite uh, difficult as well because this is a fragrance that took off hard, and especially when people started hyping it up 
and especially when people such as uh, Jeremy started hyping this system in and back, you got a lot of different fragrances that um, smelled similar, that had similar DNA, and tried to improve very much on Linui de Lom. Why and I think that actually the greatest improvement to me of this DNA is Linui de Lom uh, La Parfum, not the new 2019 Parfum. I, it's fucking confusing. No, I'm talking the black bottle Yves Saint Laurent's Linui de Lom La Parfum. I find this actually to be completely better than this. Now, I do like the EDT. I I am a fan of it, but this just takes it in so much more of an interesting and um, sexy, chocolatey, soapy direction that to me this kind of blows that out of the water. There's also other fragrances that have come out that are similar for actually a cheaper price. Things like F for from Farragamo, which is quite pleasant. Zara's Y. So there is a lot of um, fragrances that are biting to try and, you know, biting on the tail of this fragrance. There's lots of different things that I could recommend that's in a similar ilk to this. Things like Reflection Man by Amouage that are, of course, not the same fragrance, but a similar kind of style. One Million Lucky, Ferragamo's uh, Womo, uh, or Wamo, I can never really pronounce uh, that. But there's a lot of fragrances that really have gone hard on this DNA or, or tried to really... Um, get as much real estate out of this fragrance but wearing it I have enjoyed it a lot and I think that it has got still quite a lot about um, about it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say this and this is how I truly feel it is still relevant but by the absolute skin of its teeth there's still something about it that is quite grand and quite stylish and still has its own uniqueness but it is absolutely hanging in there like it is literally on the cliff edge with one hand maybe three fingers i think that in a few more years this is going to be just not really talked about and still you know people will have really moved on and this will become a classic but not necessarily something that people wear anymore but right now it's still got its fan base it still does quite well but i would start right now to explore different possibilities um, of fragrances besides this what i'm basically saying is that when this fragrance bottle runs out i'll probably just be happy to move on but I'm getting a good wearing out of it and I am enjoying it and but the honest truth is is that I have always preferred this bottle I've always in, enjoyed this I'm very surprised that Jeremy has always talked about this and actually at one point said that this sucked I do not feel that that's the case I think that he's actually wrong about that I think that this is the superior fragrance so the long and the short of it is that yes this is still relevant but just barely Third is the retail price. Again, that's difficult. The actual retail, physical retail price of this is astonishingly high. It's something like £70 now. Um, You can get this on discounters. You know, you can get it for lower, about £55, £60. But with the state that it's currently in and the fact that you have got a lot of fragrances... Um, chomping at the bit to get to it and the the odds are kind of against it in that way I think that if they'd lowered the price just a little bit then that would be an ideal thing to do and but but they haven't and I presume that they're definitely not going to in fact from what I hear they're only going to raise the price of this fragrance and I think that the evaluation is going down not up So I'm going to put my foot down on this one and I'm going to say that, okay, fair enough, the discounters are there and you can use them if you wish, but you usually can only buy this from retail, in store and on the official Yves Saint Laurent website for about 70 plus pounds sterling. And I'm going to say, quite honestly, that's not good enough. And that is not the proper evaluation of this fragrance. So I would say that that's a thumbs down. 
So apart from that last part, I think that this fragrance has actually come out relatively unscathed. I think that it's still um, a viable option in 2019, but by the year of 2021 or 2022, I, I don't know what's gonna happen truly, but I think that this would not be the best option. So I'd say that we're looking actually at the twilight of this fragrance's career so enjoy it you know get it if you're a fan of it i'd say the reformulation is still good i'm i'm enjoying wearing it right now so get it whilst you can um and then let it ride off into the sunset gracefully that's what i'd say to you that's what i'd say to anyone and that's especially what i'd say to yves saint laurent i think that part of the reason why it's had um some of its problems is that they have absolutely oversaturated the uh, its own market and I think that one of the reasons why it declines in relevancy is because of the amount of flankers the amount of just stuff that they just throw out there see what sticks that has not helped this fragrance now I'm very happy that we've got gems like this and um, you know some people have been fans of things like Lom uh, Libre or Electrique or I don't know Analog or Electric Guitar or Sax Saxophone, whatever flankers um, that they've they've put out, there's just a preposterous amount of flankers. Um, but they've not. I, I think that YSL have not helped themselves a lot with this fragrance line, and now it looks as though they're just desperately clutching at straws. But for now, go out, enjoy it, and um, that is the this episode. Next week we are going to be looking at um, we're going to be looking at one million. <laughs> by Paco Rabanne. Yes, we are at that episode already. I know that a lot of people have been wondering when that's coming. That is going to be next week. Also, apologies for this episode coming a little bit late. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this um, episode. It's not necessarily been the most straightforward, and I hope that you've gotten the information that you wanted. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm the Fragrance Price. Thanks. Goodbye.